Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be reading Curious George, A Winter's Nap. Nap. And you might notice my hair is different. You probably saw my hair is like this long. I shaved it. Yep. And uh, we are going to be starting a new series, Curious George. And little kids actually like Curious George, I think, because my my brother used to like it. Yeah. Or little Ben. Please get out. Yeah. But we've been, he's been really addicted to Curious George. We even have a soccer ball of Curious George. He likes it a lot, but we are going to be reading. And don't worry about the background noise. Okay, don't, don't worry about that. One fall day, Bill and George went fishing. Bill Shaw saw George shivering. Maybe it was too cold to fish. Well, obviously, you have to be cold. I mean, fall is really cold if you don't have a jacket. He is not wearing a jacket. He is it, he is really cold, I, I suppose. On that way home, <clears throat> on the way home, Bill told George that some animals, such as bears, Go to sleep when it gets cold. They eat a lot in the fall. Then they hibernate or sleep almost all winter. George was curious. Curious George. Get it? George was curious. I mean, he's... He is, of course. Um, it, The book is named for that. And he's always curious. I mean, kids are always curious. They, like, don't know, like, well, they learn how to speak, but then, like, they ask a lot of questions. They become curious, like, curious George. If he hibernated, he would miss the cold winter months. At home, George ate and ate. Maybe he would get sleepy and hibernate. Upstairs in bed, George tried to sleep, but his room was too bright. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Is there no light switch in... Wait a minute. Is there... Is there no light switch? That's the curtains. Wait a minute. Yeah, guys, do you think George has a light switch in his room? Uh, maybe he just forgot. About it. Yeah. He still could not sleep. How did bears do it? George asked a man with a yellow hat about hibernation. This book says bears sleep in dark, quiet caves, said the man. That was it! George needed a cave. Look at George with his uh, toy teddy bear. Or teddy bear, it doesn't matter. George hung toy bats. He, now his room looked like a cave. George settled in. For his long winter nap. Uh oh, now what? George could hear animals outside. Pigs oink, cows moo, chickens cluck. George just shushed them, but they would not be quiet. George covered his ears. The animals were not as loud, but the, his room was still not flat. George taped his blanket over the window. Now it was dark and quiet. Finally, George fell asleep. He slept in his monkey cave just like a bear. After a long time,
Aaron, George woke up. He had done it. He had hibernated. Uh, I didn't say so. How did you sleep last night? Said, asked a man. Last night, George had only slept one night, not all winter. Then the man had an idea. He took out a box of winter things. The man reminded George how fun winter was. They could sled and ski together. George did not want to miss winter after all. The big snooze. When animals hibernate in the winter, they sleep at a time where it might be hard for them to find food. In the fall, they start to eat lots of food to store fat. That's that's how you um get energy, actually. Then they rest all winter long to save energy. They wake up in the spring, ready for a new season. Bears sleep most of the winter. There are other animals that hibernate all winter long and don't wake up at all until spring. Can you guess which animal listed including species that hibernate? I don't think a, a cat does. Not at all. Making a teddy bear cave. You can read this and you can do it. I am going to do it. And that's it for Curious George. A winter's nap. Now, we can do shit. Yeah, let's do the boat show. And then there's more of these. We're going to read all of it. But then we have the other Curious George, which is a little bit harder, like longer. So we are going to do what? Which one was this? I think. Uh, I have no idea. Anyway, let's do Curious George the Boat Show. Yeah, yeah, it is read to me, but I'm not going to do it because why would I? It was a beautiful day and George was curious. What's the guy? He was curious about all the boats on the river. George liked one of the boats best of all. It was carrying cars. That stuff... That is a ferry boat, said the man with the yellow hat. George liked to watch the butt boat. Yeah, George liked to watch the boat. But he was eager to get to the lake. If he was lucky, he might see another ferry boat. At the lake, there were tons of people. They were watching the model boat contest. There were boats of all kinds. Bill showed his model sailboat. George thought it was wonderful. I saved a lot of money to build, to build this boat, Bill said. Will you keep it safe until the contest? George was happy to help. He held the boat carefully. He looked at the boat. He looked at his toy horse. Horse. George had an idea. George made Bill's boat look just like a ferry boat. Oh no, it sank. What will Bill enter into the contest now? George tried to make another boat for Bill out of his toys. It sank too. George saw that some of his toys floated. He had a better idea. You know why? Because they are made of a little bit of air. George looked at the other boats on the river. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. When Bill came back, he saw the new boat. That is a great ferry boat. Bill said. Then George showed Bill, what happened to the sailboat? Uh-oh, I forgot to shut the boat's windows. I'll fix that, 
Now the water can't get inside and the boat will float. Let's go enter our boats in the contest. Everybody got a blue ribbon for all of their hard work. Even George. Ships Ahoy! Make a paper boat and you can pause this to read this and then make um, it. Read this and Oh my gosh. Are you gonna read three books? Actually, yeah. It's good. Oh, Let's wow. play mini golf. Maybe. I have no idea. We've, this video has lasted for 10 minutes now. Maybe. Yeah. George and Steve were good friends. They like to play games. Steve always had the high score. He always won. One day, Steve invited George to play mini golf. This was a new game for Curious George. He was curious. Well, George, sorry, not Curious George. He was curious, of course. Maybe he could win this time. Steve hit the ball one, two, three times. See, this is where it goes. And then it stops there. And then second one, it goes here. And then his last time, it's striped in. George took a big swing. This ball hit two trees. George swung a golf club many times to get high score. George hit the ball again and again. It went all over the golf course. Golf was easy. Well, luckily he doesn't know. You're not supposed to get a lot to win. You're supposed to get less to win. And this is a game. This is a different game. At the end of the game, Steve read the scores. Steve, 35. Bestie. Betsy, 58, and George, 250. George had the highest score. He was so happy. He had won. But George engulfed the lowest score as best. Bestie told him, I won, I won the game, Steve said. George was surprised. How could a small number be bigger and a big number? Well, it's how much hits you took. He took 250 hits for all the games in total. George had an idea. He wanted to win in golf. He had to practice. George asked his friend if he could borrow some things from their house. George made a golf course on the roof. He That's blew it and won it. At least there's something that uh, protects you from thorns. There came the other end. The ball moved. He was ready to play. George invited Steve over. Gosh, that is a lot. That's creative. George played first. He blew through the two, and it got a hole in one. So this is here. And then here, 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 and then Steve was next, but it took him eight tries to get the ball in the hole. Wow! Steve counted the points. George had the lowest score. Finally, he was the winner of Monkey Mini Goal. More. Mini Mini Goal. Uh, can we read more books? You can read this. Yeah, I'll do more books. But that is it for the video. Please subscribe and like this video. And don't worry about um, Little Ben. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to support all the, ch the channel. We are... Not up to date, well, we are kind of, because every single week we post a video, and you got, well, some weeks we don't, but most of the weeks we do. And if we get to... 3,000 subscribers. The subscribe button.
goal is 3,000. If we get 5,000 views, we will do more of these. Or also 300,000 subs. Stop talking, please. Please? And if you guys in, are enjoying these, well, thank you. You should hit the like button if you enjoy the video. And we would love that. And we are trying to do videos. And I know we, you're kind of, so like people like Pete the Cat a lot. But the thing is, we are first going to we're still trying to find books to pete the cat books to read and we don't have any more for now but we are going to read other books because we have not um in a long time so i hope you joined the video please subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed and also to support and also to support this channel sorry i hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe and like this video to show all the support and love for our entire channel. Goodbye!